what's that relationship like? What's what's the process of being being coached by him? Yeah, I mean, you know, me growing up, you know, I've always been, I've always been good at handling handling accountability. So him getting on me wasn't anything to hang my head about. He just wants to win. And I want to win as well. So. You know, I just, at the end of the game, when you see me give him hug, I was just thankful. You know, th- thankful for coaching me. And, you know, even though I'm young, even though I ma- make mistakes, th- thankful for him having me out there in crunch time when the game side, we're down one, and, you know, trusting me to make plays. It seemed like you were more aggressive, kind of attacking the rim tonight. Was that a, a something that you kind of focused on coming in? Yeah, first half, I thought we shot a lot of jump shots. And, you know, honestly, like, I just felt like I have big guys on me. And that's and that's the thing with the mismatches. You know, you put me in the four, I saw guys guarding me on the perimeter. You know, that's an easy draw to the basket. And, you know, put their guys in, attack their guys, put them in foul trouble, and get them where we want them. When you have a second half like you guys had tonight where everybody seems to be contributing, how much easier does that make things for, for, for you and for everybody else? Easy because, you know, they can't key in on one guy. You know, everybody's attacking on all different levels. You know, Kobe had a great tournament this week. He was hitting shots. Kenny had a big shot late. You know, me attacking, Luke making plays. Luke does. Cam hitting shots. So it's just having all of us together is kind of hard to choose. You got to pick your poison. You said you wanted to 